Now let's turn to the battle for Libya. The U.S. says it launched its first predator drone attack today. While on the ground, the Gaddafi regime pulled its troops back from the western city of Misrata. But as Alan Pizzi reports, the retreat may not be good news for the city's rebel defenders. Fierce fighting in the ruins that make up the front lines of Misrata have apparently gone the rebels' way. An area around a medical facility that has been hotly contested for days has reportedly fallen to rebels, but the cost was high both to them and Gaddafi's troops. These are militia of Muammar Gaddafi. These are want to kill us. Wounded loyalist soldiers said they had been ordered to retreat and had booby-trapped buildings they abandoned. The Libyan government said it was pulling regular forces back because NATO airstrikes had made what a Libyan official called a surgical solution impossible, and local tribesmen would take over the fight. They will move in and they will talk to the rebels. If they don't surrender, then they will engage them in fight. Civilian victims were evacuated today on a ship chartered to bring out stranded migrant workers. In Tripoli, a NATO airstrike slammed into what Libyan officials said was a parking lot outside the compound of Colonel Muammar Gaddafi, killing three civilians. The hole showed what looked like a concrete bunker under the sand. The first attack by a U.S. Predator drone was carried out today. Surveillance drones have been in use since the start of the no-fly operations. The armed version carries Hellfire missiles which can strike small targets in urban areas. Libyan officials called the predators a dirty tactic. It will be another uh, kind of against humanity committed by the American administration. It's not clear how many tribesmen there are in the area who'd be willing to fight or where their loyalties lie, but putting them into the fight makes it more complicated for NATO to intervene, even with the precision of the predator drones. Russ? Alan, what else do we know about these tribes? Well, they're generally considered to be loyal to Gaddafi, Russ. That's his area in the West. Now, Libya is a very tribal society, although they keep trying to say, no, no, we don't care, we're all Libyans. In fact, it is tribal. But whether or not Gaddafi could rally a lot of tribesmen to fight on his side remains to be seen. But the fact that he's trying to use them is a rather cunning ploy because it does complicate matters endlessly. Alan Pizzi in Benghazi. Thank you.